so I was in a relationship with a young man um, where I was holding him down in prison. Yes, holding him down. I had met him off a of POF. I don't know if you heard of that. Plenty of fish. Wait, did you mean him while he was in prison? No, I met him within 24 hours and then he went to prison. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. And um, I was at the, at the time um, when he went to prison, whatever the case must be, he told me that he didn't want to be in a relationship after 24 months we were together. But wait, so, you said you met him the day before he went to prison. Yes. Yeah, so he so had I was a, a one to, Okay, I so you, so you met him on Monday. He went to jail on Tuesday. Oh, Y'all thought you thought you was in a relationship for 24 months? All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. With another episode of Foolery. Ah. Let's jump right in it, people. Let's get it. How many of you back in the day heard this old saying? All the good men are locked up. All the good ones are locked up. I used to hear it all the time when I was growing up. And I never understood, like, how in the crap y'all figure the good ones are locked up? They were so good, they wouldn't be locked up. I don't get it. But then when I got older, I understood what they were saying. They trying to say all the good-looking ones, the pretty good hair and all these pretty boys, all of them are locked up. Or is it? I don't know. But they always claiming they, I figured that because they want to have babies with all the dudes with good hair and light skin and shit. So I, I don't know. But this lady in this time in this era comes up here talking about all these men that's locked up and she having relationships with them. So Kendra tried to talk to her, but nah, it ain't nothing happening. But let's jump in and see what exactly she's saying. So y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we're going to jump right into this with this. All the good ones are locked up. Crap. Please. Hello? Hey, Hello? I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's your name, baby? Jovan. Jovan, where are you calling me from? I'm originally from Chicago, but I stay in Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. Why oh, hear that accent? So you've been in Florida for how long? Ooh, like about 15 years. 15 Since 2008. Years. So it's about 14, 15 years. Okay. Jovan, Giovanna? Jovan, like the clone Jovan. Jovan Musk. Jovan, okay. How old are you? I am 39 years old. 39, do you have any children? Yes, I have two. How old are your kids? 16 and four. Okay, same man? Probably. Two. Two men. Have you ever been married? Yeah. No. Why are you not with the four-year-old dad? It is a crazy story, Kendra, and you might not believe me, but I'm going to tell it. I'm going to be real quick about it. So I was in a relationship with a young man um, where I was holding him down in prison. Yes, holding him down. I had met him off a of POF. I don't know if you heard of that. Plenty of fish. Wait, did you meet him while he was in prison? No, I met him within 24 hours, and then he went to prison. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Huh? What the? And um, I was at the, at the time um, when he went to prison, whatever case must be, he told me that he didn't want to be in a relationship after 24 months we were together. But wait, so, you said you met him the day before he went to prison. Yes. Yeah, so he so had I was a, a one hour. So, okay, so you, so you met him on Monday. He went to jail <laughs> on Tuesday. Oh, Y'all thought you thought you was in a relationship for 24 months? Okay, so before she say anything else, let's just stop right here. This shit is getting so ridiculous off the bat. Let's just let's just pause for a minute. Ladies, hit me in the comments right now. Why do y'all make decisions like this? You meet a guy on plenty of fish, whatever the crap that is, don't sound like it's worth jack. The next day he gets locked up, you holding him down. How does that work? Why do you want a man that's locked down? Then what can he do for you? What can he do for you? This is the dumbest crap I ever seen in my life. And y'all keep doing it. Then y'all talk trash about brothers that's out here in the world trying to make it. And then you say what? I'm not going to settle. 
but you would take a dude locked up. Come the freak on, man. No. So I hold him down. Like it wasn't, it was, it's so it's crazy how it sound, but I was like, well, I'm going to give him a chance. I wanted to give him a chance to see how I was, but he's not my son's father. He's not at all. So when I was in college, I was in my last semester of college. I graduated with my bachelor's degree. I met a young man and he was a good friend of mine. We was talking for about two years and he poked holes in a condom, being nasty and D-ish. And I wound up getting pregnant with my son. I guess he took your birth control too. What, he threw it out the window or something? Come on, poke holes in your condom. Y'all say the dumbest shit, man. And he never been around his child. My four-year-old never seen his dad. He don't want no parts of his son's life. And it's sad because, you know, he knew what we was doing and he didn't want to step up and be a man. So. So I'm gonna try to say this nicely as I can. Ladies, stop thinking that if you have a child with a man, that he's gonna step up, be up, get up, climb up or whatever up and support you and this child. Every man that make a child doesn't mean he wants that child. He may have made it by accident. He may have just been coming through. It seemed like they've been messing around for two years. All of a sudden you have a kid now he don't want to be bothered with you. Like you're leaving out a lot. But I keep telling people and telling people, you got to start thinking about yourself. Why you want on birth control? You messed with this man for two years. All of a sudden, you get pregnant now? Come on. You know you was trying to have a kid with this dude, and then he got mad when he found out you was pregnant. Because you don't make good decisions. Let's just be real. Point. So, but what does this guy do with the prison guy? He, he, after, he was getting out in May in 2018, and he told me that he didn't want to be, you know, he didn't want to be in a relationship no more. He wasn't happy. I thought really, he wasn't in a relationship with you when he was in jail. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So wait, but, so, I, but I'm confused on why you brought that relationship up if he's not your four-year-old child's father. Because that's how it all started with me getting pregnant with my four-year-old. Because the young man that I was in college with, I knew him for like um, two years while we was in there. We were like buddy partners as far as study partners and stuff like that. They're saying but it's your shirt, they can see. I mean, I, I oh, uh, okay. Oh, I'm it's sorry. It's the way it is, okay. It's the way it is. It's, it's sorry, it's cut. It's oh, okay, cut, I wanna make sure I understand the story. So are you saying that you were dating the guy in jail and when he got mm -hmm. up, when he got out, y'all broke up, which is crazy. And then you started, yeah. then you got with the guy from college? Somewhat, yeah. But the guy in jail that you were dating, so what you were going to see him while he was in jail, I'm assuming. Yes, I was holding him down, yes. But you never, and y'all see, I never had a date because. I know we didn't, but I felt like, you know, I was gonna hold him down. I Girl, was, you met him 24 hours before he went to jail. Why did you have to hold him down? I know, because, you know, because it ha it happened so quickly, Kendra. It really happened so quickly, quickly and it's so crazy because that happened four years ago. You know, but four years it, ago when he got out of jail, four, four years when he was in, when, well, within that time period, like three, four years, if you want to say. I'm just confused on how the guy in jail relates to your four-year-old child's father. Kendra said that because I'm sitting here the entire time trying to figure out why you keep talking about this dude that's locked up. She asked why you weren't with the four-year-old father. Now we don't got the whole history about the dude being in jail. We ain't heard nothing about the dude's father. I mean, the father said he poked holes in the condom. What this have to do with the child's and the child father? What? This is stupid. Ladies, y'all hear how this, this woman sound? That's how y'all sound out here sometimes. It's stupid. How do those stories, so, like, like, why did you okay, tell me so, about that if he's not the four-year-old child's father? Because I would never met my son's father if you know, he was, you know, it, what he did. Cause I, I just, I felt like as a woman, you know, if I'm holding you down, I'm protecting you. Why would you tell me after two years that you didn't want to be in a relationship no more? Even though I know what you're saying, Kendra, that we was not together and he was in a, you know, he, he, was wait, wait, wait. A, he, he, he told you not in two years. He told you when he got out of jail. 
when he was fit to get out of jail that he didn't want to be in a relationship Girl, with you, are, are you really come on come on come on say it say it say it say it kendra are you really that dumb are you really that dumb to think that you meet a guy within 24 hours, he get locked up, you hold him down for two years. When he about to get out, he tell you he won't have nothing to do with you. You actually thought he was going to be with you. <laughs> and y'all keep thinking all the good ones in jail, right? Yeah, buddy. Yep. Go ahead. I'll, I'll Nubian Queens. Find you one. How old are you? I know. 39? I'm 39. You're 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 but, really asking that question out loud, girl. He, listen, I'm gonna give you harsh truth. First of all, you mm -hmm. met him before he went to jail. Now, listen, right. I, I'm not a ride or die chick. I'm gonna tell you, yeah, ask that right now. If you go to jail, you do the crime. That is God's way of breaking us up, and that's if I knew you. Unless I, I might have a friendship and I might put some money in your commissary. Who knows? But I'm moving on with my mm -hmm. life. But you met this person who you had no connection with a day before mm -hmm. he went to jail. Right, so this is not a person you knew for a long time, a family member no. or whomever. So you decided to hold him down while he was in jail, which I'm just gonna be honest, he was using you for whatever. Yeah. And I'm not sure he you might have not only been the only person he needed, I mean was using, because when you're in jail, you got nothing but time. So he probably had, I don't know, I, I can't say for sure, but my guess is he had several women maybe keeping him afloat while he's doing that time who knows right that i don't i don't know if i know that for sure but i'm not shocked that when he got out of jail that he told you he didn't want a relationship because he was using you the whole time i'm just mad that you didn't know that yeah i was blinded i was blinded by the what, what, what kind of glasses do you have oh you like a schedule you're gonna need a you're gonna need a stronger prescription <laughs> you're right now this woman has a bachelor's degree. And I always said, education has nothing to do with whoever you get in a relationship with and how you choose men. She didn't even understand Kendra was clowning her. She thought, oh, you like the glasses? She's like, dummy. She's clowning you. And you gotta, and see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all be preaching all this education, education, and then go out here and mess with a dude that's locked up or just gotten out. And then you blame us and talk about black men as soon as he treats you like a dog because he don't know you. He been locked up. He ain't figured this shit out yet. But y'all jump up there, want relationship thinking, oh, maybe he'll love me because I'm doing all this stuff for him. He going to love you long enough to get back on his feet. And then he gonna go find something better, especially you girls that's out of shape out here. And I just hate to say it, cause look at her. That's why she chasing jailbirds. Let's be real. She laying up there all sideways and shit, half her breast hanging out. That shit ain't sexy. Sit up like somebody, cause you were 35 when you did all this and had this kid. You 39 now, and you still saying sound the same way. But y'all don't blame us. Blame us for these smart-ass dummies out here. Because that's all it's going to turn out to be. Hit me in the comments. Y'all think I'm wrong. Comment, comment, comment. I can take it. But I'm going to give it. Let's move forward. That's your past. So I'm assuming you don't talk to him no more, right? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. Okay. Well, okay. So, oh, so I get it. So you're saying had he... Stay true to his word. You would never have your four-year-old child. That's why he told me this. Correct. Correct. Okay. All right. Yes, ma'am. So this is Jovan, Florida. What do you do for a living, honey? I work for Baycare. I'm a radiology scheduling. I work in the scheduling department. So I schedule imaging like mammograms, PET scans, CTs, and things like that. Okay. So you work for daycare, you said? No, I work for Baycare. Bay radiology. Radiology. Okay. When's your mm -hmm. birthday or zodiac sign? My birthday is June the 10th, and I'm a Gemini. You're a Gemini. All right. So this is Jovan, Florida, two kids, 16 and 4, 39, works for radiology. Um, is a Gemini. What kind of man are you looking for? That's I'm look first things first, not in prison. We'll start. No, no, I don't do that no more. Out of there. Done. But what I'm looking for, I'm looking for somebody that's open, honest, 
and um, committed. Committed. Okay. What's some deal breakers for you? A liar. A liar. Okay. A person that cannot hold a conversation. I have been dealing with that a lot. Like, you know, they tell me, yeah, I'm all in for it. But then the conversation is not there. They in the beginning, but then when it slowly progresses, they're not there no more. They're not there no more. Okay. No. Does he have to be in Florida, P Petersburg? St. Petersburg, I would say yes. Um, in Florida, yes, I would say because um, being out in Atlanta or um, not in the state of Florida is hard. But I want to say something, Kendra. Um, I do have a chemistry that I thought that probably can, I can see myself. He's at, he actually was on your, um, on your live. His I don't know. I can remember. He was he on the live tonight? No, he was, it was a long time ago. Reggie, tell me it about him. Did you reach out to um, him? I did reach out to him and, um, we're, we're cool. Um, but we don't, we don't have the same connection, but we're cool. We're good friends. So why are you bringing him up? I was just wanted to say that. I wanted to say that because um, I tried to see if it could go somewhere, and it didn't. Okay. It didn't. You said, but you told me you have good chemistry with him. So I, I was assuming that you guys were talking. You're not talking no more. No. Well, whose decision was it? It was. It was. I would say it was both of our decisions. I would say it was both of our decisions. Um, I mean, you know, he is a cool person. He is a cool person, but I think that, you know, the fame, you know, being on here, you know, seeing other people, you know, talking and stuff like that, you know. So that you come on the show to try to find this dude, Reggie. Let's just be real. Why would you bring him up? And I don't think she quite get it that dudes lose an interest in her. So she need to think about what are, what's going on where they're losing interest in me. So, I, I mean, you telling this whole story like it was something glorious, like we had a connection and all this other stuff. But then the more she talked, the more that shit went downhill. You know, boom, then crashed and burned. And you still talking about it. But the, my thing is why? Why are you bringing up somebody that pretty much dump you? You see what I'm saying? Like, ladies, y'all always chasing some shit that's gone. He's gone. Options. So did y'all ever? Did y'all just have a friendship, or did y'all were y'all dating? Did y'all meet in person? No, we never met in person. He's in Georgia, but we was trying to. I will. I will. I had told him I don't have no problem driving. You know, I don't have no problem meeting up, linking up. We can meet halfway. You and so I'm hi, you're doing too much for men. I am okay. You're doing too. First of all, and this is should be a rule: all women don't ever talk about no man who ain't talking about you. Let's start there, okay? So mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, you're telling me he got famous from the show. To be honest, I don't remember half of the people that come on the show. Sometimes, <laughs> I mean, there's some people that are unforgettable that I will never forget. Reggie isn't enough. I would need more details to remember who he is, but. It seems like you reached out to him. You guys probably communicated, but it was never, I don't think, I mean, for what you're telling me, what I'm gathering, it wasn't really anything. Like you never met him in person. No, so, we, we just, we just, we just um, Google each other, you know, live and things like that, but it wasn't. Right. Like but I mean, you told me in this one moment that you offered to drive. Girl, hell no, no. Now, I mean, I, we're meeting halfway up. I mean, was he was he gonna drive the other half? Yeah. But what happened then? It never happened. That's why I said, you know. Oh, so, so maybe he was, he was just lie. talking. You were willing to do yeah. it, but obviously he wasn't willing to do it. And this chick out here begging. She out here begging for the D. You tell me, I meet halfway, and the dude still won't do it. If a guy was interested in to you, he would come to you. All right, y'all get that. If they're interested, they'll come. You know, y'all want to get flued out and all this other crap. If you get flowed out, flued out, what y'all say, then you want to give it up. But if I'm going to meet halfway, you can make whatever. But this dude ain't trying to do nothing with you. Like, she doing a lot of talking. Just, lady, they just not interested. 
That's all. You're begging. You're begging. Stop it. Then y'all say what? You're not going to sell. Sound like a lot of selling going on here. Yeah. You know, so, you know, listen, it happens to all of us. I only oh, know yeah. stuff because I've been through it. Um, but, um, and I have overextended myself in, in past dynamics. And I just say it never works. You know what I'm saying? So I do sometimes think women have standards way too high, but sometimes standards are way too low. And if you ever find yourself like, overextending yourself, that is never good. You do not want to overextend yourself for anybody. That goes for men and women, to be honest. I don't think it's going to end in a, in a way you desire. So, And you want some effort. It is true. If a guy wants you, you're not going to be confused. Like, that's the, the, the simplest thing. If you're wondering if a guy likes you, he don't. Because if a guy likes you, you're going to know. And, and yeah. that is the, the, the simplest statement I could ever say. You know, and when men like a woman, you're going to know he likes you. You know, you're going to know. You know, if he doesn't, and if you're unsure, nine times out of ten, he probably doesn't like you as much if you're unsure of it. But just a little lesser right there. But let's keep going. Yes, um, all right, we got to do the Kendra cam, honey. All right, let me go into my there from because I know that's the best place. <laughs> Hold on, Miss Kendra. Let me go on my there from. All right, Ken, I'm going to put you right here. Okay. Okay, hold on. put you right here. Ooh, ooh. All right. All right, we'll see you both. Okay. Did I actually, does the guy have to look? Okay, it's, it's, this is, the rest of, anyway, I just cut this thing off. It just gets dumber and dumber. But she's right. If a man is interested, like I said prior, he's going to show it. He's not, you're going to have to chase him around all this. He's going to let you know he has an interest in you. So if they don't do all this stuff and ain't calling and all this, he doesn't have that real interest in you. As simple as that. Take the hint and keep moving. And as you see what I said, these big girls chasing these dudes locked up that's not available, lie to them, y'all running behind them trying to do everything for them. And then when they get all this from you that you offer, and move on, you're mad. Now you talk shit about other black men and everything else, but you the one who can't choose properly. So it's not us, it's you. So y'all figure that shit out, man. Well, guys, that's it for me. I gotta get up out of here. Definitely gotta go to the gym. It's raining all day, don't feel well, but hey, gotta do what we gotta do, right? All right, guys, it is your boy. I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace. Get a little noise out of here. Y'all take it easy. All right, all right, all right, all right.